it's Brian from McDuff's Cool Stuff, and this is week one of my video series of Can I Pay My Mortgage Just on eBay Sales. So I'm going to show you what my eBay sales were for this week and uh, what items have sold, rather than showing you actually pulling them out and shipping them and all that kind of thing. That's not all that interesting, but uh, this hopefully this will be just as interesting, I suppose, or hopefully better than that. But these are the items that I've sold. And you can see from my uh, report here that I had $570.97 in sales. And that's up 5% from the previous time period, which I believe was um, a year ago. They're comparing your year, year to year sales. So uh, my biggest category I sold in was toys and hobbies. And my second was uh, clo clothing, shoes, and accessories. And then um, other ones here. So it's kind of, it's fairly even. Uh, the Toys and Hobbies kind of stands out. And I'll show you why that why that is. And there's a breakdown of what's going on from January 30th all the way up to today's date, February 5th. So uh, my selling costs were $220.75 out of all of this. So I'll show you how, how this all breaks down and if I came out ahead on this. And some of you may be wondering, so, well, geez, how much did you pay for these items? And that would be more of something that's called a profit and loss statement. And that would be something you might generate um, for the year or closer to tax time or something like that. And that would show you was your business overall uh, for the time period that you're interested in, did it make money over that time period? Did you have a profit or were you showing a loss? Um, I've run these reports myself and I do make money. I do actually make money doing this. I show a profit for the year, even when you uh, factor in all my costs and everything. But just for this week, these are what my sales were and how much I made for it. So we'll just start over here with um, this item. Now, some of these are very low price items, but I still managed to uh, get a profit out. Even though I paid for shipping on it, um, I still came a couple dollars ahead. Uh, I had bought a large G.I. Joe collection uh, this past summer, and uh, these are just the last few things that I have for sale that are, are a little bit, they're harder to sell items. They're not as valuable, but I figured I ought to at least list them and get something out of it, get my money back out of it, maybe a couple dollars more. This one sold for $11. It's the uh, G.I. Joe uh, DJ figure. Um, he's missing some parts. You know, unfortunately, I, I don't have all the parts for all of them, but most of them are complete. This one, unfortunately, was not. And those are the kinds of things I have left for sale. I have a classic bridge set from uh, Star Trek. And this was actually, um, I'm actually selling this for a friend who has some Star Trek collectibles that uh, she's trying to sell. And so I'll only make half of whatever the net is from this one. So I'll, I'll show you that as well, too, when we get down to the end. Uh, I have one of these thermometers left that I sold. That sold for $39.95. This is a wall-mounted thermometer. Uh, a water filter. Now, when when I go looking for place of the source from, this is often one of the more over overlooked things that people would just go, oh, it's a water filter. I don't know if this would fit my fridge. But when I do go source these things at the uh, Amazon return uh, bin store, uh, these there's usually I can get, pick these up for a dollar between one and three dollars because people are thinking for their own refrigerator but actually they're fairly valuable because if you have if you need this particular filter then you can uh, sell it on ebay people often buy filters i've sold uh, hundreds of filters on ebay and on amazon in the past and uh, they always do very well eventually they sell someone's going to need this thing and especially have one for like an older refrigerator that might be a little bit harder to find um they're they're uh, really um, a good seller. So I usually sell uh, one of these, at least one of these a week, um, sometimes more, sometimes multiples in the same. This was just one particular one. I think I only had one of this filter anyway. Uh, this thing, uh, I had to ask uh, my uh, son what this was, and he remembers this from when he was a kid. The, it's a, a show or a game, is game I think it was called Five Nights at Freddy's, and it's a, it's a kid's costume. Now, this is February that we're doing this for, and I've already sold more costumes in January and February than I have in September and October. So go figure I'm not really sure what people are doing with these things, but hey, good luck. Maybe they're trying to get an early jump on Halloween, you know, try to avoid the rush. 
Um, also a uh, Robin's uh, Toddler's Costumes, uh, size 2 to 4. That also sold for $25. And this costume uh, for $25 also was a blue costume from Monsters, Inc. Uh, very cute. These were all new costumes that um, they had not been worn, but the package had been opened. It's one of those that you snap shut that you might see at the um, at the Halloween USA store or something. You know, it's like a little plastic bag with a snap on it. It had been open. Um, it doesn't look like they've ever been used before, so I put them in as new. Here's a uh, Star Trek Next Generation Klingon Battle Cruiser model. These were unopened models that I would purchased from a local seller here uh, near me. And uh, she was trying to get rid of uh, a large group of these models, so I bought them from her. From her. And the, the amount of profit on each one is actually fairly small, but this one was one of the better selling, you know, the higher price ones for $29.95. I also have a set of textbooks that I've been selling. Uh, some of them go for quite a bit and some for very little. This one only sold for $8. Um, the buyer bid, did pay $3.82 in shipping. So that one, not so much. I had this keyboard, I, I ran across, I forgot why even I had this thing, but it doesn't go to any computer I have. This is from the old um, iMac, um, one of the earlier generations of iMac. You see it's a purple color. They came in different flavors. They didn't call them colors, they called them flavors. One was lime, uh, this one was grape, they had strawberry, etc. So they had different colored ones. And this would happen to be the grape um, or purple keyboard that goes on the old iMac. And that sold for $15. And the shipping on it was $9.90 that the buyer paid. Uh, this one was one of the more expensive models. This is the most expensive model that I had for sales for $50. It's the Munsters Coach from the old uh, Munsters TV show. Um, any of those uh, 60s and 70s models of classic vehicles or even from uh, movies and TV, they sell very well. This one, I was lucky that it was sealed in the package and everything. So I was able to sell that for $50 and then the buyer paid $8.70 to ship it. And then this is a fiber optic kit that you would use if you had a model, um, a plastic model that you wanted to um, put lights on. And it comes with a battery pack and all the fiber optics and everything you need to uh, put, uh, put something together. You it's kind of use your own imagination for it. Um, I have another model that comes with this fiber optic kit. It's from uh, Deep Space Nine. It's actually the Deep Space Nine um, uh, station. And this is a battery charger from for Rigid Tools. I bought a, not too long ago, I bought a whole bag full of tools that had extra chargers in it. Um, I kept one of the chargers for myself because it was a really handy screwdriver, electric screwdriver. Um, as a a bit more high powered one than you might have you know, if you just got one of those small black and decker ones but this one was a really nice one i kept because i'm always dismantling things around here to try and uh fix them put them back together so i could sell them and uh, this one was a uh, battery charger it charges the um uh, 24 volt batteries um in the fast fast charger so that one was sold for 32 dollars and it was used um but to buy one of these news would probably cost you closer to a hundred dollars, maybe more. It uh, depends. I've not checked the price on it, but this is what they're going for you use right now. Thirty-two, they paid eleven sixty-nine in shipping, and then there was another textbook that sold for sixty dollars, and the shipping was seven dollars sixty cents. And books, I ship them through something called Media Mail, which is um, through the uh, U.S. Post Office. They have um, discounted shipping for uh, books because they know they're going to be heavy no matter what. So they give you a discount, but the trade-off is, is that it takes a lot longer to get there. They put on their website that it takes two to nine days, somewhere between two and nine days. And it kind of works like they put all the books going to one particular area into a larger holding, I'm not sure, bin of some kind. And when that bin is full, then it goes out. All the other kinds of mail, um, like priority mail, as soon as they, they receive it, then they ship it out as it is. But this one goes in large bins a different place. So it can take a while to get there. I've not had any complaints about it. 
uh, but it does work well even though it does take longer it eventually gets there but this book sold for sixty dollars plus the shipping and all so how does that break down for um, my profit for the week so let's see what happens so like I said before there's always costs because you're you're getting access to the eBay um, customers you know you have access to all of them by putting things on there and you do have to pay for that so I downloaded all my sales for the week and um, these are all the items that we just went over the costumes and the the chargers and all that kind of thing and this will show you like the total sales for that was eleven dollars and eighty two cents the, the item itself was eleven dollars eBay collected eighty two cents in tax um, there's the shipping and handling like in this particular item I paid uh, the shipping for it so eBay does charge a fee on the shipping which sounds weird but they also give you a, a nice discount on it so you almost kind of come out even on the deal sometimes a little bit ahead um, because of that because the the buyer usually pays whatever the post office rate is for the shipping but eBay gives us a discounted rate so it might be 20 percent off of that so that helps cover the cost of the box and bubble wrap and everything everything else that you put into packaging it and uh, the cost of the box because I don't um, just use used boxes I, I actually have to buy boxes because I have I, I couldn't find enough boxes to, to sell all the things that I have and and poly bags and all that kind of thing so I actually have to buy boxes but luckily I have a local place that gives them uh, to me that sells them to me for uh, quite cheap and it's uh, well worth it's, it's a very short drive to buy them there so if you have a local place that can get you boxes go for it it's a much better deal uh, so they're saying this is my total selling cost 560 that's including uh, shipping that I paid and everything for that so I didn't really make out very well on that one just a little, you know a few dollars on it but yeah, that's okay every dollar kind of helps here and then if we go down here um, it's going to show you the uh, label cost all right this is the amount paid from shipping on eBay so that to ship that was three dollars and seventy two cents for that first item that which is the GI Joe guy and here's my net sales for each item I netted out five dollars forty cents on this first item and then all the way down you can see how much I netted out on some of these uh, this one net out really nicely forty one fifty nine that was probably the the Munsters model right there and this one for forty four and so my total that I made for this month or this week is three hundred six dollars twenty three cents my average sale of the, just this week was forty dollars seventy eight which is actually higher than what my um, annual number is my annual number is in the thirty dollar range you know between thirty and forty so this is a bit higher than that but I made three hundred and six dollars twenty three cents this week and that's going to my goal of one thousand one hundred dollars which is what my mortgage would be. I hope you find this interesting, everybody. Um, I'm going to be posting one of these videos every week for this month to see if I can reach my goal. It looks like I'm, I'm getting there. So hopefully next week is going to be just as good. There'll be a lot more listings that have to go in if I'm going to keep that uh, kind of pace up so that I can uh, meet my goal for this month. Thanks for watching. And of course, I always appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel for more videos or if you could also hit the notification button or leave a comment for me. I also appreciate that too. Thanks so much for listening.